Hey, 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 and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. Today we've got a short episode, but it is a double parter. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a multi track recording and, because of that, how to get a virtual sound check. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So let's start with how to uh, route all your channels uh, from your console. So today we're looking at the Behringer X32. Um, part of the reason why I like this, this console for what it does, uh, it's very inexpensive and um, unlike other consoles in its kind of price range, uh, it does actually come with a card um, that will allow you to record 32 channels through USB and it works very well. I've used it several times. Um, so we're looking at here, um, it, obviously this isn't the actual console, but again, we're looking at the editing program. This is just going to help us just to kind of visualize. It's going to be the same uh, layout on here or on a Midas M32. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our routing tab. And this is where we say what sound is going where. Uh, so we're going to go to our card out tab. This is saying what sound is coming uh, from the console, uh, from inputs, different inputs that you have, and going out to your, um, your computer, however you have that set up. So uh, this is very important. If you do this from scratch, uh, if you're using the board itself, the local inputs, meaning the XLRs that are on the back of the, uh, of the board, then this is what's going to default. But if you're using something like the, um, the digital stage box, then uh, you're going to need to change this because it's not going to be picking up the right inputs. So in this example, if we look at our home tab, uh, this is a good way to know what you're working with because this is telling you what your um, channels are that are coming into your console that you're mixing. So in this example, uh, we were using a digital stage box, and so we were using the AES-50 uh, A ports and all those all the way down. So it's usually a good idea, unless you have something weird going on, uh, to match up your card out with your home tab. So we can go through and we can see this is AES 1 through 8, 9 through 16, 17 through 24, 25 through 32. We can only record 32 channels, so you're not going to get anything from your aux ins. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're setting this up. So we're going to go over here and we're going to do the same exact thing. AES all the way down to 32. And now that's going to be sending out to your computer. So when you go to set up your computer to record this, now that you've set up your routing, then you're going to want to go to some sort of a recording program. Uh, so today we're looking at Waves Tracks Live. This is a free program by Waves. Uh, there is a paid version that's only like $100, um, but I'm using the free one as a to test it out. Um, it's legitimately free. Uh, it just doesn't come with as many things as the $100 version, but it's more than enough for what you need to do uh, in this case. So very easy to do. This is a, a, um, actually something I recorded tonight at a local church that we have here. Uh, but when you go to start this, all you have to do is go to file and then, I'm sorry, not file, um, track, add track. And then in this case, we're going to add 32 channels. I've already done this, but if you're doing this from start, you'd hit OK. And then it lays out all your channels so that you can see what's going on here. Uh, let me get to where we can see a little bit better. So it's gonna look like this, so 32 channels. You can label them, um, but this is a very bare bones recording program. There's no plugins or anything like that, um, but just like any other recording program, you set your channels you wanna record, and then when you're ready, you hit the, uh, the record button up here, and off she goes. Now, one thing that's great about this program is that it has an auto lock feature. So whenever uh, you walk away, if you have this set, uh, it will um, lock this, so if I hit any buttons, it's not going to accidentally stop recording on me, which is huge. I've had that happen to me in other recording programs uh, many times, so this is very good. So you have to actually go and click this button before you can do anything else to the program. Uh, it also has a really cool feature uh, that I've never seen in a recording program before, 
while it's recording, you can turn certain things off or on, uh, and then they will stop recording and then come back later. This is really cool if you have a, uh, a band that's taking up you know as many as 31 channels uh, while they're playing, but when the pastor gets on stage, you've still got 32 channels running, including his microphone, but you may only need his microphone and maybe your ambience mics. Uh, so with this, you can go through and you can turn off those other channels while he's speaking or while she's speaking. And then whenever you're ready for the band to come back up, you can turn them back on. Now do be aware, um, that's the only thing I've had issue with in this program. I've got a computer that doesn't have a ton of RAM. Uh, and so that did cause the program to crash. Uh, but other than that, if I leave the program running all the way through, uh, I've recorded, um, so far, I recorded a two-hour worship night the other night with zero issues, ran all the way through, excellent recording, no issues. So once you're done recording, uh, then you can export this to a, um, another recording program, or you can just take the files, they're WAV or AIF, depending on how you have it set up. And um, I think they're just WAV in this program, um, but pretty much any recording program is going to work with that. And you can drop that into Pro Tools. I like Logic, Ableton, anything that you're working with. Um, very cool. You can even go through and say, okay, I only want this section, skip this, this section. And so it can export you a, um, a session that's ready to go. Very cool, very simple, and I love that it's free. That's probably my favorite thing about it. Um, yeah. So what a virtual sound check is, is the ability to do the multi-track recording we just talked about, but to, um, to be able to send that audio back through the console, through individual channels at a later date, and then use that information to, uh, to work on your mix, to train your team, whatever you wanna do. I've found this is a very, very useful training tip. Um, I'll go into a church a lot of times and uh, I try to get them to do this before I arrive, but if they don't, I bring in one of these sessions I've done in another church and we'll just play through um, a band through their sound system and practice, okay, here's how you EQ a kick, here's how you um, EQ a vocal and mix the whole thing together. Uh, you can also go through and listen to how it sounds through your, um, through your uh, live stream or whatever you're working on, uh, your you know, parents' room, anything, without having to have the band there to, do, to be playing while you're doing this. So you can be working on your own time with your own team and not have to have the band up on stage being guinea pigs the whole time. So it's really cool. So here's how you set that up. Uh, just like how we went through here and we set the, um, the uh, card to receive these channels. Uh, and again, we were basing this off of the home tab here. We're going to change the home tab because right now it's receiving, in this case, uh, it's from a digital snake, it's receiving one through 32. What we're gonna say is for just for now, I want to, instead of receiving from the snake, I wanna receive from my card. So the sound that we were sending from here to the card, we're now gonna send from the card to here. So we're gonna do the same order, one through eight, nine through 16, 17 through 32, 25 through um, 32. Um, you got me mixed up my numbers, but you got what I'm saying. And this is one thing I like to do, this is dumb, but it helps me. Whenever I uh, scroll to these things, I always scroll all the way to the bottom so I can see it's like a staircase going down. And then when I go back to fix it, scroll all the way to the top, because then again, it's gonna be the same thing. When you go to fix it back, make sure you do this when you're done, or else uh, the next person's gonna be very confused. But you create this little staircase, a cascading effect, and then that's a good quick way to know that you're right. So again, scrolling all the way down, cards one all the way through to 32. And now, once you're in this program, um, you can hit play and it's going to play these tracks back through your board. Uh, so very, very easy to set up and go. One final thing, uh, I forgot to mention this, um, just so you're aware, once you set up this Waves program, you're going to need to tell it where the sound is coming from. So remember we went through here and we said, okay, uh, on my card out, I'm sending this information to the card, to the computer. Once you get to here, if you haven't done this already, you need to go to File, Preferences, 
and I don't have the console hooked up right now, so you're not going to see the option, but under interface, you'll be able to click it, and there will be an option that says something like uh, X32UF or something to that effect. Um, might say Behringer. It depends on what your, um, your driver is installed at the moment. Uh, but this will work on Mac or PC, uh, and it'll show up on there. And then when you need to do mo um, your uh, virtual sound check, you'll need to make sure that this multi-out option is selected. And that will mean that whatever you're recording on channel one, in this case was a kick, um, when you go to play it back, it's going to come out output one. And output one is going to come back to the kick over on your, uh, your program here. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.